we are back. Day four or five, five, one, one of those two days. Day four or five in a row of the daily upload streak. I can't be stopped. And in honor of that, well, how, how long does it take for you to just hit that, hit that like button? Leave a comment about anything, really? Maybe even sub? Come on now. It ain't that hard. Let's start this. Let's continue to pop off. I'm honestly pretty impressed that I even have the amount of support that I do so far. Big shoutouts to Davin for being such an avid commenter in these last few videos. Always helps to see that people are willing to interact with the questions asked. Yeah, I'm not using this team. I actually want to use the team that I brought versus Yeezy last week in NUPL. For this live, I think it's pretty fun. I get you off Lipard, who I think is actually a really good Pokemon right now. I'm also on Gravapple, which is... Yeah, this is not a very high elo account. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, I can tell this is not a high elo account. Go, oh, I put it as a Farfetch'd. Alright, well... Lipard is a really good matchup this game, though. Obviously, the Hitmonchan is a little scary, and the potential for a Choice Scarf Malamar is also a little annoying, but if it's Scarf... Poison Valley can pivot semi-reliably into it at least. It leads off with Butterfree. I'm knocking immediately. If you're Sash, you're Sash. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm about to get like bug buzzed. I actually don't. Oh, that's not too bad then. Let's go into my um, Stunfisk. Yeah, honestly, the sport, I've been appreciating it. It's been really nice to just see any amount of success <laughs> come out of this channel so far. I originally just started uploading mostly for fun. Oh no, he giga drained me. Yeah, that's actually really bad, not gonna lie. That's really bad. Yeah, the support's been great to see. Thank you guys so much. Let's keep this shit going. Now, right here. I don't know what move he is going to go for. He might giga drain again, so I'm gonna just go with this. Oh, that did too much. I think he might be tented lens. Just because he's got all these attacks. Hopefully Shadow Sneak from Life Orb Gorgeist kills does. Alright, good. So, threat averted. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, no matter where you are at the ladder, if you do not pack a Togedomaru, or like some other electric type, Butterfree is gonna be a demon to play with. There's a reason that team's called Demon. Um, I don't think this set that they've got is the good set. I think the best sets are substitute ones. Like Sub, Sleep Powder, Quiver, Hurricane. It lets you, I feel, take better advantage of Butterfree's tendency to just force a lot of switches as people try to like figure out what they want to send to sleep as they try to you know pivot into something that can take a hurricane when you're using it and then just immediately force you out. Are you choice you're not choice scarfed right? He's, he's choice scarfed farfetched. <laughs> Hopefully he goes into something that rock slide hits. Huh. He went to the Hitmonchan! That's the one thing you weren't supposed to go into. No! Uh, that's not the end of the world, especially because I have a lot of things I can switch in here. Such as my Silvalli Poison. I'm going to fire off this multi-attack that you do not have a resist for. The one scared thing is I am Parting Shot instead of the um, other one. Yeah, he Fire Punch. Take that easily. So I can't just chunk that for a million. I will say, if he goes Malamar versus my Silvalli, I'm going to assume that he is Choice Scarfed with Psycho Cut. So he actually goes into Obama Snow. Huh, I'm a parting shot. I don't think you're Scarf. So he actually just doubles into his Frost Loss. Okay, that's not too bad for me. My part is slower. And that would be pretty much saying I'm okay with being burned, which I'm not really that okay with, so I'm gonna go into my Wishy and just throw off Scald. If he starts setting up spikes, it's whatever. As he goes for the Thunder Wave, honestly, if I have to sack this here, I'm not the most against that. And unfortunately, I don't have anything faster than this, so like you turning out isn't even really worth it. I mean, it would have been worth it to catch the Obama Snow that I was pretty sure was gonna come in. I'll sack this. So he goes for Leaf Storm. So you're probably Specs, right? I could go Rotom and just fire off Blizzard, or like Volt here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go Rotom, fire off Volt Switch. If he stays in, then I go Silvalli Poison, I think. I think this is an okay play. 
Because I don't think he'll want to let me just freely set up, yeah. We do actually KO that, I'm a little surprised. And I can go into Sil Valley here. Oh, he was actually Icy Rock. Okay. Huh. I mean, throwback to me running the Icy Rock, a bump on the Hail Team, but that was Swords Dance, and I still think that set's pretty fun. How good is it? I don't really know, but <laughs> I think it's pretty decent in certain matchups. Also, I'm going to change the avatar just because if uh, someone sees me, I'd like to not have people talking about anything in chat with me. I mean, it's not hard for people to just realize what ults I use eventually. It'll, you know, catch on, I imagine. Uh, let's use... Hmm, been using female abbeys. Let's go for a nice, ah, uh, let's go with a nice red. Let's be, let's be, let's cosplay as Finch. Hmm. Like, I really don't want this taking chip is the issue, so I'm a parting shot here to my Rotom. As we skillfully dodge that. I can just fire blizzards. Also, yeah, non-specs of Bomb Snow with Focus Blast, I think it's pretty bad. I don't know why, it just doesn't do damage. Maybe he's not max special attack? Maybe? Well, I, I really don't know. Hmm. I'm going to assume that he's not. He goes Malamar, so I get Chip. Yeah, so here's... <laughs> here's what I mean by the fabled Choice Scarf Malamar. So I'm going to go immediately into my Valley Poison. And I'm going to immediately press Toxic. And I'm going to immediately say, you do not get to sweep me. Oh, he's actually not even scarfed? Oh god, Hamos as fuck, boys. I actually think it might be worth preserving this. Wait, if he's not scarfed though, what if he's like some cursed, um, something else? Also, I feel like Farfetch'd is about to sweep me with Brave Bird, and I'm really not about that. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. I think this is the best route. Just go into this and then you turn here. And then go into Savali Poison so that he can't go into a Bomb of Snow, I guess. Yo, if I get swept by a Scarf Farfetch'd, that's gonna be really funny. I, I will laugh a lot. I feel like I- well... How much do I need this around? I'm a multi here. I don't- do I even live a U-turn from this at 14? I don't- I- Yo, if I lose this Farfetch'd, I'm gonna be real sad. So he went for Brave Bird. Hmm. So I go into this and U-turn. Honestly. Yo, what if I copycatted this though and went for Brave Bird? <laughs> ah. You know? Sometimes it just really be that real. Uh, sometimes it just gets that real. I'm gonna copycat again. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like that that game was so close. Gets some Versace looking dude. All right, so I don't know what his team is trying to do. At first I saw Ludicolo and thought it was rain, but then I saw the rest of his team and now I'm not too sure. He does have Sandaconda plus Li not Lipard, um, Persian plus, what's that mod called? Piloswine? So I don't know how much Lipard can do. It's one of those games where, like, if I were Trick, that'd be kind of cool. I think this thing gets Trick. Or, like, Switcheroo. I feel like I remember looking at the list of moves it got, because I was trying to figure out what I'd want as the last slot. And I think I remember seeing one of those. Hmm. My Gorgas isn't bad this game, though. As it leads off with the Togodomaru. I mean, he's going to U-turn here, but I don't have a way to punish that. So I'm just going to my Silvalli Poison. Because at least it resists U-turn. And I can safely pivot versus most of his team. Yeah, I honestly want a hard just Toxic here, but it's so not worth it. So we're just going to do this, and we're going to U-turn here. Get the huge hit off on the Ludi, actually get a crit. So he's lefties. Now I get to go into Lipard and just U-turn again. Just keep up the momentum versus him. I think it was my best route. Here. Now, if he goes Sandaconda. Hmm. I don't know if. I don't think that's worth going into yet. Let's just go back into this. We're going to Sculpt this time. 
I think he's gonna try to... Yeah, okay, that was kinda right, he tried to break out of the vortex. I'm gonna Fisk here. Dodge a hurricane. Dodge another hurricane. Dodge another hurricane. It's actually kinda crazy. It's also kinda crazy how I knew that he was, um, Tinted Lens. Yeah, wow, that was unfortunate. Now I will snap trap you to death. There we go. <laughs> Getting rid of a huge threat. I think it was like specs, maybe. One of my wishy. Looks like he's just gonna. Oh no, he was superpower. I think superpower is a pretty nice last move. I doubt Scald kills this, but I'm still gonna go for it here. Yeah, that does nine. <laughs> we'll go into the um Gorg here. I see synthesis is. This is a pretty free power whip though. I'm honestly a little surprised at KO just because I knew he was bulky. I'm always just gonna go wishy here. See how it crashes, and this is a very, very free scald now. I'm gonna go for protect. Now we are in tiny fish form. This is a slight issue. We have been forced to stop schooling. Oh, you stop that right now, sir! Yo, what do I even do? Yo, unironically? What do I even do about this? I hope I live this. And I sure hope I don't get flinched. No! Oh, that sucks. Yo, that's actually really bad. I think we might have lost, boys. I do not see my um, win condition. I mean, we get that toxic off. <sighs> do I try to hope this lives one? I think I do. Oh, he power gemmed. That was a good play. So, here's what we gotta do. We gotta try to stall him out. As he just hard plots again. I really don't think that matters. So, let's see. I definitely want to preserve as many protect turns as I can. We're just gonna try to get him into range. Um, I think we double tacked here. It doesn't go through, but that's okay. I'm going to Gorgeist and I Shadow Snake here. Okay. Uh huh, yeah, this is the problem, Mon. Let's see, Power Whip is 90. It's. It's stronger. Oh, I'm even faster. Oh, but then he went for Nuzzle. Is he like Choice Band? Hmm. No, he's just gonna go for Flinching. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh no, I'm about I'm about to get um Yep. Alright. Alright, well it would appear this dude has gotten revenge for me dodging like 40 hurricanes. Alright, well, that sucks, but you learn and you live. I think only a couple of those hurricane dodges miss, but it's whatever. We go on. We get another. The hacks will not keep us down, boys. Yeah. So far as live, it is very unfortunate. Persian has done pretty much nothing. I feel like whenever I record a live, the mod that I'm like trying to showcase goes out of its way to do nothing. I mean, this Persian's not bad in this game. The problem is he's got two Pokemon that outspeed it. I'm still gonna lead Persian and just hope. Fortunately, even if he like goes Berserker, I'll be faster. So yeah, speaking of Berserker, we can just U-turn here. I think he'll probably U-turn as well. He actually goes Rapidash. Huh. Yeah, that was not the play you're supposed to make. I hope he stays in and Wild Charges, because I like very easily take one of those, and I can retaliate with Scald. Yeah, like last live we had the Silvalli Poison, where I got matched up into Stunfist Galar every game. That was just sad. <laughs> that was very, very sad. Davin has joined. What? what? <laughs> Friend, hello. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is stud spore Eldegoss. Also, fire off a toxic here. Uh, if anything, it might catch the Corsola, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. Now, why you went into a Steel type versus a Silvalli poison, I could not inform you. I don't know what move he's going for here. Maybe just Iron Head, so I'll go Wishy Washy. As he actually you. None of these plays make any sense, yo. <laughs> they really don't. I don't know if this man's just predicting, or if I'm just really bad. Or maybe it's some combination. We'll always protect here. 
I'm assuming this is um, specs. So, Low Ladder sometimes likes to run that terrible Flame Orb set, which is the only reason I'm not entirely sure here. Obviously, he's going to predict the Galar Fisk coming in here. But, do I really benefit at all from... Alright, he did not predict the Galar Fisk, but he did predict a switch. Um, I should go Snap Trap here. Yeah. So here's how you bully the Eldegoss, lads. <laughs> um, I could go Rotom here as well. And go for like the Bolt Switch immediately, I think. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Why are you Beach C? Why are you the worst configuration of moves possible on your Eldegoss, bro? My lord. I think Leech Seed and Stun Spur are both pretty irredeemably bad on this. I think the mandatory moves are Sleep Powder so that you can, you know, do something with this Pokemon. Rapid Spin because you're running this for Spin Support and Giga Drain. And then the last one I think's generally going to need to be like Aromatherapy or something. That's what I would say, at least. I'm going to go into this, and I'm going to go for Protect. Actually, if I need... Hmm. So if he stays in for some unknown reason to, like, CC, I would rather go for Scald here. Even though the Eldegoss is probably coming out here again, I don't think it's worth U-turning. Because he does go for U-turn. There's definitely Choice Bandit as well. So that is semi-annoying for me to deal with. God, I've not gotten a Scald Burn on either of my two Scalds. It's a, it's a damn shame. I will go for the Protect here, though. Obviously, it does just let him heal up. But I also want my Wishy-Washy to be at a high amount of HP, because otherwise it just doesn't check his, what's it called, Berserker anymore. This one is game where I wish I was limber on my life hard. Since I'm not, he's able to, like, for free, Stun Spore every time. I'm actually going to do this. He shouldn't be able to touch me at all. I'm going to hard into Rotom here. I mean, he might just stay in and, like, Giga Drain. He actually goes into Rapidash. Now, see, this is an issue. I don't, why did you go Rapidash versus a Gorgeist? I'm like, what? Even if you're predicting Power Whip, like, that's, that's just a bad play. Um, he's gonna Wild Charge here. I don't really have a switch in. I'm gonna go Gorgeist, though, just to try to flex on him. I guess also to scout for the Wild Charge. He won't double Flare Blitz. It's pretty much the idea here. At least I don't think he will. I wouldn't. Okay, as so he goes into this, and we see that he is Life Orbed. Oh, dear. I mean, a Shadow Ball's coming out here? Let's find out. I really don't know what Life Orb Frost Last entails. No, it means an Ice Beam's coming out, though. I was far off an Earthquake. It's whatever. And this is also one of those games where, again, I've been wishing in a lot of my games lately that I was Fire Blast on my Gorgeist. Not, not gonna lie. I have not gotten as many games as I would like to where Rock Slide would be the beneficial move to have. Despite me thinking Rock Slide is probably the best move to, you know, fill on there. I need this alive. I do not want that Jolteon being, like, useful in any circumstances. Take that well enough. I will just press Flamethrower here, because you went Berserker last time, so maybe you think you're safe. We actually get full Parrot, but it's not the worst thing ever, because we at least live the Psychic. So I'm not too concerned with this. It's mostly just slightly annoying that I don't get to preserve that as a sack for later. But I don't think it's unmanageable. Now I'm going to go into the Lipard. It outspeeds his whole team other than the stupid Jolteon that this man has on his team. I hate Jolteon. This mod is not viable. And yet it's still like the 6th highest used Pokemon. Like, why? I swear to god, I am I am really surprised Jolteon is in you. Somehow it stayed RU all of last gen? And yet this gen, it, it, you know what, it came down to us just just fine. Just fine. We are going to go for the Snappity Trappity. Also, I think it's time we, we make this Eldegoss not a factor. It, it, we, it is time. 
Eldegoss, your reign of terror is over. He is energy ball. Alright. Hmm. Actually, yeah, getting up rocks is gonna be really cool. Mostly because this Lapidash is life orb, and if I can just put it in shadow sneak range, or at least be sure that it's in snap the shadow sneak range, it'd be really good. And he gets the full pair immediately, that sucks. That actually sucks a lot for me. Hmm. I'm gonna go live hard, mostly because it covers him going Rapidash, and I think I'd, he'd maybe try to get Rapidash in here on like me switching to one of my Gorg or Rotom. I feel like he has to make that kind of an aggressive play at this point. He actually just stays in. You know, at this point I don't even think he's got spin on this set. I would have loved to get rocks up there, but I really need to try to take advantage of this Eldegoss at some point. So, he has a Violite, right? I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let him know. I, 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 sometimes you just gotta help the new players out, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> ain't that a damn shame. <laughs> I just wanted to help a brother out, and I guess I scared him. I, I don't want to play into Pale Man. I really don't. And he's got Toga Damaru. This is one of those games where if I had a fighting type, oh, food, T delicious, nutritious. All I see are death fodder. Yo, wanna see me gunk shot this and KO it? Watch this. All right, well that was a great game right there. What is the- why am I facing Arctivish stall? What? Yeah, so if it wasn't obvious- no, not playing that out. <laughs> if you're gonna dodge gunk shot turn one, nope, 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 not even worth it. I don't care about the rating on this account. I don't really care about my ladder performance in general. <laughs> it's just the quality of play on the ladder, at least on in use ladder, is generally really low. So, as long as I'm being able to take games off of people in testing and just like friendlies. I think I figure I'm fine. I mostly just play ladder because it's fun to see what awful things are being run. It also just lets me know, like, all right, what random stuff should I expect? Such as Jolteon, still really favored. But going back to that Jolteon point earlier, somehow all of last gen Jolteon was RU, never never dropped. Yet this gen, where Overall, there are less Pokemon. Somehow we get Jolt. I, I really don't get it. Yu Yu even has Heliolisk this gen, which we had last. And while RU does have Rotom, it, it, it has never stopped the low ladder people from using something completely out. It does not matter how outclassed one Pokemon may be. If low ladder likes a certain Pokemon, they will use it as much as they want. Without, without fail. Also, this is one of those games where if I were like Seed Bomb, oof. So we're gonna lead Lightheart. I'm just gonna knock. If I can get rid of the Quagsires, lefties, or the Clefts of Eyelight early, that's great. Or if I can just Oko a Behem, that works too. <laughs> Let's listen up. I, I've lost two games this live, and I'm at like under 1100 ELO. I, I need to do something to remind myself that I'm a sentient player. Alright, I'm gonna need you to stop doing that. I don't even... What do I even do to break this? I guess I just go this and spam multi-attack. And hope that that's enough to break Cosmic Guard Clef. That does 40. I think I think we're good. Alright, he's got Moonlight. Not soft-boiled, Moonlight. So maybe we can stall it out. I might need to just go Lipard and knock. Um, please KO? Thank you. Alright. If I didn't KO there, I probably would have just gone, like, to the X button. And this is why I'm toxic, by the way. This Again, I don't really know if this team is well-suited enough for Kofa. So I slapped Toxic on here, just in case. Now, plus one Shadow Ball from Emerging Calx. It does, like, 75. So I'm pretty sure it Energy Ball would Oko. Nice team. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Uh, I'll just 
Ghost Earthquake. He is... Okay, he's plot with Body Press. Okay, so he probably just didn't even Energy Ball. Which just means Lipard would have for sure been KO'd. He has Arctivish. And thankfully, I have the Savior. That 41, by the way. Savior, by the way. Hmm. Yeah. There, there. Arctivish, I mean, it's Choice Bandit. Oh boy, it, it still hurts. I'm trying to think about what I need to do. Because Gorg obviously takes this out. Do I need Stunfisk? Like, what does it do for me at this point, you know? We do always choice banded. We even confirm that with Frisk. So I guess I can just power whip now. Yeah, power whip's good. Assuming I hit, I will KO. Hatchram, I do not know if you are to hit KO'd. As we have learned, if I try to calc, my recording software will pot. Now, what I would like to explain this bullshittery right here. Someone would like to explain that one to me. I'd be very much appreciative of that. Why Why did it live? I'm, obviously, we're going to go for Shadow Snake here. We do not miss. Uh, I will. I can assure you of that. I am not trying to miss. Goes into Hatchrim. Um, you, I don't even know what you're pressing here, dude. Honestly, I really don't. I'm going to just go hard life hard. Goes for Dark Pulse. Honestly, I was just wanting this to not be... What? What is, what is that? Huh? If Trick Room is... I see. I see. Okay, well, that's surely a set. Get rid of this thing's leftovers, I guess. Go into this. I'm gonna press Toxic and just make sure that no matter what happens, I will not miss to death. I do not need to miss every Power Whip. Honestly, I don't even know if I could call this live more successful than the last one because of the where I'm losing games. <laughs> it's kind of a damn shame. But you know what? It, again, it's whatever. It's ladder. I'm gonna run into stuff that doesn't really make any sense, and that's especially the case with Inu, so it's okay. You know, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this game. I, I do like this team. I think overall it's a really solid team. There were a few concerns I had. Like, so Valley Dark could be a little bit annoying. <laughs> just, just could be a little bit annoying. When I, I actually I faced one in my in the UPL game, and the only reason it wasn't an issue, I think, is because I was able to prevent it from ever really getting a good time to come in. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.